Hi everybody, Mike here from Hebden Photography, back again with another tutorial. This time I thought I'd uh, show you how to add rain to a picture. I shot this image on the west coast of British Columbia. Uh, the forests are known for being lush and green, and it's an area that does get a fair amount of rain, I suppose. This day it wasn't getting any, and we'll add some. I'm going to put a new layer on. Here's my new layer button. I'll click that. And you can see we have a new layer up here. If I were to go up to Edit and Fill, or select Shift F5, I'd be able to fill that with black. You can drop down this menu and choose black. Fill it with black. Now I have a black layer. The picture is still underneath it, but what we're going to do is put the rain on this black layer and then uh, lay it over top. This is a super easy process. First thing we do is go up to Filter and add noise. We're going noise and add noise. Here we are somewhere around somewhere around a hundred percent we're gonna add. I like to add Gaussian and you want to make sure you check monochromatic. Click OK and there you have it. It doesn't look a lot like rain yet but uh, after a few more steps we'll get it looking like rain. Uh, we go right back up to filter and this time we're going to add blur and motion blur adding the motion blur we're going to set the angle at well i guess it really depends i mean the angle is going to be the angle you want your rain at some pictures you want to come in straight down if you've shot sort of up uh, at something or if you want the rain to really look stormy, you can have it coming in sideways. I'll go for a little bit of an angle here. 78, 82. We'll just leave it right there. Distance, the distance somewhere around 100 as well. And the distance is really the length of the, um, the blur that we're adding. Click OK on that. All right, there's still more adjustments to be made. What I'm going to do is go up here to Image and Adjustments and Levels. I'm going to do a Levels Adjustment. And this Levels Adjustment, because I went through Image instead of a layer, is just going to happen to the, uh, the noise layer that we added. Drag your white slider all the way over till it just bang, just touches the front of this uh, histogram spike here and grab your black slider and slide it way into the black. That looks like heavy rain there. That still looks like really heavy rain. It's kind of getting there. I like to cut whatever you see here, cut it in half like that. For some bizarre reason, here we go, even less than half. For some bizarre reason, when you click OK, there will be more rain. Strange. But you can see what's happened up here on the top. I don't know why that is. I have no clue. What I'll do is I'll hit Control T, and that's going to bring up the transform box. And I can just grab this slider, or grab the. I can just grab right here, and drag up a little bit. Oops, and drag up a little bit, so that I make the uh, the layer just a little larger. It's kind of an interesting thing you do too because I can now grab this and slide it this way and that'll kind of pull um, the raindrops apart which is kind of a kind of a good effect so go ahead and widen that up just to bring it because otherwise the rain is just it's just too dense in my opinion click the check mark up there or hit enter to accept the changes that we've made and we pretty much got our rain now, we just have to go over to the blending mode and select screen. And there we are. We're pretty close. I mean, the effect is there, and you can see what's happened. It's not perfect yet. Um, these, if I f zoom in on this, these rain streaks are really, really harsh and strong. So we'll just give them a little bit of a blur. So we'll go up to the filter and blur and the Gaussian blur. Here you like to have it, I don't know, somewhere. I mean, I guess it depends on the resolution of your image. But somewhere between one and a half and three and a half, I guess. Have a look at it. 
One thing that uh, a lot of people don't know is if you click and drag over this number and highlight it, you can use your wheel to slowly adjust this number, the wheel on your mouse, if you happen to have a scroll mouse. 2.7 is getting there. I'm going to... 2.8, yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. And you can see it's blurred our rain a little bit. It's not such, it's not such hard edges. And I've accepted that, and I'll fit this back to screen. It's looking pretty good. Um, one thing you, you want to kind of be aware of is that rain, when it comes down, it comes down in unevenly. These, this rain is still fairly well spaced and it's not very realistic yet. Um, if I were to add a mask to this layer, I can see my rain layer is selected. And I go over here and add a layer mask. And here's the mask right here. I'm going to paint on that layer mask in black. Grab my brush tool. And I have it set to black. At an opacity of a, uh, about 30%. Here we are. In drop down menu, grabbing 30%. Nice soft brush, hardness of zero. I'm going to make it a little bigger. And just paint in areas to reduce the effect, not everywhere, so that the rain isn't the same brightness everywhere. It'll fade some of it out and uh, bring it a little less into focus. It doesn't all have to be that way. Some of it you can get rid of almost completely and others you, you'll leave pretty much as they were. One other option you have if you find for whatever image you've got that the effect wasn't enough, you can just grab this layer, drag it down to your uh, add layer button and duplicate it and it'll increase, it'll double the effect um, which you may you may like. You can adjust the opacity there if uh, if that's how you want it. I uh, I like mine the way it was, so we'll just leave it like that. Maybe a little bit more masking on the face. I don't want to hide. I don't want to have a, a raindrop right in the eyeball or anything like that. Still want to be able to see the features of the face. Nice thing about this mask is I if I have like in this area taken away too much of the rain I can just switch my brush to painting with white and bring back some of that rain there we are see fantastic I wanted to raise up that effect a little stronger in certain areas it works great and there we have it you now flatten your image save it and we're done You've added rain to your picture. And a lot of people won't even be able to tell. I hope you learned something. Thanks very much. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day.